Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is uh, What If Female Deku had God Kiana's powers as a quirk. Now, before we begin part zero, this is not replacing any what if. I'm only doing the part zero now, so I don't have to wait next Wednesday. But this will be a Wednesday what if. After I deal with this part zero, we're going to move back to our original what ifs. Now, I'll put a pull up to see if you want me to continue um, Jack Frost or want me to do some more of um, Dragon King Deku. But we'll worry about that for later. But right now, if you see my community tab, I put two polls. Now, one of my subscribers asked me why there's a female option for ships and, and a male sh option for ships. It's because a lot of people in the comments want male or female. So I released two polls on my community tab and whatever wins the poll on the male version and the female option, I'll make another poll, put those two on top of there and see whoever wins. Then whoever wins that poll will be the ship. Now, I won't. The poll will be open until tomorrow. Then when, when I wake up, whatever two, the male option or the female option has the most votes, I'll put that in a new poll and see um, what you guys want the ship to be. And then whoever wins that poll will be the ship for this what if. It's only be one ship in this what if, so. It looks like um, female option. It looks like Jiro is going to win. And for the male option, show to Todoroki. Yeah, I was surprised. I figure Melissa Shield would get a lot more votes because no, Melissa Shield's not used very often. So in telly. But, you know, you guys let you guys, you know, pick. So there's that. Now for the comments for asking for my Android 17, that's on the back burner for a little bit. So you go, so that's not going to be made for a while. So I know a lot of you have been waiting for that one, but I have other things to take care of first. So there's that. And I'm changing one thing <coughs> on her power set. I was thinking it over and I think I should do this. The whole thing about her not eating, she's only, she requires a very little amount of food and water. It's very small amount. So her atazolism is a whole lot different than normal people's because of her cork. How it messes up all her internal organs and, her, and stuff like that. It's. Her body is like rewired a certain way, so it affects everything. I guess this would be some sort of mutation cork in a cellular level.
Sorry about that. I was, um, I saw that pause it. So let's get to the what if. As we cut to the hospital, as Mrs. Yai Rosu is giving birth, as throughout the pregnancy, she gave birth to Momo. As Mrs. Yai Rosu, uh, as she's like, she's beautiful, dear. As Mrs. Yai Rosu, it hurts still. As I think another one's coming. As Mrs. Yai Rosu, what? Another one? As he's physically shocked. As you have. As several hours pass, as uh, Kine is born, a white haired girl with silver yellow, well, bright yellow eyes with a slit, like in a picture you see right here. That's what she looks like. As throughout the years, the Yairozu family, because Momo is the firstborn, they're not twins at all. So I get off that right off the bat. They're not twins. They're not identical twins or any, anything like that. So, <coughs> sorry. As over the years, the two girls were raised. Momo has always been their attention because she's firstborn. So because of that, the Yadirozus have neglected their second daughter. Even when even when she was a baby, Mrs. Yadirozu didn't pay no attention to her. The staff took care of her. As the two uh Kine's parents, Momo has always been their main, uh, their main focus, the head of the family. As we do a little bit of time skip, not much, but a little bit, a few years, as you have Kine and Momo, they're around four years old, they're playing, they're playing outside, like sisters do. Now, in canon, I'm not sure when Momo developed her quirk, but her quirk, but we're, we're going to get into this now. So, as they're playing outside, as Mrs. Yai Roses and Mr. Yai Zero are watching Momo, as she sees her accidentally create like a doll, as they rush over to Momo, as they pick her up, as she's like, Excellent, dear. Your quirk, your quirk manifested so early. You make me so proud of my my sweet daughter as they pick her up as they both walk away from Kine as Kine is reaching out for her sister as she's screaming sister sister as Momo's reached out to her as Momo's like mom what about sis she doesn't matter you do we have so much to do we have to get you evaluated. We have to begin strict training and school studies. You have a lot to do, my dear. Don't worry. Your sister will be fine. As their relationship was, they were very close, but over the years, that close relationship became severely strained. What, what, what one's love was replaced by resentment and hate. As the Yadirozus do not even acknowledge Kine's existence, her existence. It's their, they only see Momo. As we skip, as the time, as, you know, years bypass, as, as she finally hit the age of six, as uh, Mrs. Yadirozu and Mr. Yadirozu take their daughter, Momo, out to, uh, to celebrate how much progress she made in her quirk and her studies, as they didn't bring Kine, they left her home with the, with the staff. 
as a staff, as the, I'll give you a little bit of a brief summary of their opinion of the youngest daughter. They are very uncomfortable by her. She gives them very, very uncomfortable looks at the staff. They try to stay away from her as much as possible. Less interaction with her as possible. The most less in interaction with them with her as possible because she's very unsettling for a young girl. And she doesn't act like a girl, uh, act like the, her age. As Akina, Akina, I give me a second. I keep forgetting her name. It's for some reason I have a hard time re, re, remembering it for some reason. As her quirk, Kene has always had her quirk active ever since she was born, but the, her parents never gave her a time of day, so she never showed it. Showed them, showed it to them. As the Yeta Rosu comes back for their little celebration with Momo, as Momo holds it down to her mother's hand, walking the door, as they hear screams inside their house, as they're, Mrs. Yeta Rosu's trying to figure out what's going on, as you have all the staff screaming, as they see their youngest daughter, as she's using a bit of her telekinesis to move the chair, as she gets up, picks up her doll that was on top of her bear, that's on top of the table that staff put on, put on the table because they were trying to get her to study. As she hops back down, as Mr. Yeta, what's going on here? As the stuff, she's a demon. I can't do this. I quit. As several staff quit, as, what do you do, girl? As Kine just walks past him, I wanted my doll. They, I just, oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> as Kine starts to walk off, as she's like, as Mrs. Yada Rosa, her father, is like, as she's like, don't walk away from me, girl. As he grabs her, touches her shoulder, as she don't touch me as she whaps his hand off her as Ken is continuing to ignore her dad <coughs> as her mother dear we're only worried she's like <laughs> worried now you're worried now you acknowledge me mother you've never acknowledged me ever once Till today. That's because you finally figured out that I have a quirk. If you actually didn't actually cared and pay attention to me, you know I had to my quirk a long time ago. It's always about Momo. Momo this, Momo that. I hate you. I hate all of you. Especially you. As she gives dagger looks to Momo. I loathe you of you of all most. Sister. As she continues to walk upstairs. As she. As she gets escorted to her. Her room. You two escort. My daughter to her room. And. Stay post and don't let her out. Lock the door. As she's confined to her room, as they hired, as they had a court doctor come in at the house to get, to get, um, Kine's court evaluated after a couple days, as the doctor did the evaluation on Kine, as after he did his test, several tests actually, see what her quirk could do and what she's able to do, as the doctor is astounded by her quirk, as the doctor goes to the Yairozus, Mrs. and Mrs. Yairozu, I done my, I evaluated her quirk. 
What 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 is it, Doctor? What type of cork she has? It's similar to your daughter's, but it has so many aspects of it. It's quite amazing. I don't. This is something I've never seen before. But you need to be careful. What do you mean, Doctor? Her cork is very powerful and very dangerous. But it's based off her mental state. There's a possibility that the drawbacks of it, it could seriously alter her um, her personality. We're not sure of the we're not sure of the magnitude of how all how much her personality altered, but it can be dangerous. The girl is very fragile. You need to be careful how you treat her. Yes, of course, doctor. As the doctor leaves, as he gets, he talks to the, to the staff that guards our Prokakadis, <laughs> you know, Kine, I want that girl in her room at all times. Her food brought to her. I don't want her leaving that room at all. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Dear, why are you being so rough on her? She's a daughter. She's dangerous. If all I consider, oh, sorry. As all I can concern is about Momo. She's my real daughter. I don't. I don't consider that thing my daughter. As he goes off. As you have Momo looking up to his mom, her mom, mom, why does sister hate me? Dear, she doesn't hate you, dear. She's just upset. But you have a, but you have a lot of, but you are my, our main focus, dear. As much as it pains you, but I have to make sure you're raised, you're directed properly. After all, you are the head of the family. Your sister will always be, as much as it pains me, she's not important. You are more important than she is. As Momo doesn't understand that. Now, Momo's father doesn't like her daughter at all. Kine. But her mother, her mother does love her, but she, she doesn't show it. They're, they're trying to direct Momo into a correct path. Even though her cork's more um, powerful, but Miss Mister Yadi Rosie won't a uh, won't a uh, won't a minute. So as we cut to you know, as we cut to, we time skip or the years as the years progress, the treatment of Kine has worsened. Like I said in the in the earlier part, she no longer you know she has a lot of hatred in in in, in her heart. A lot of anger. So, like most kids in that similar situation, they take it out on people. As we cut to the first year of middle school. As we cut to Momo talking with her friends. As Kine has always been second in everything when it comes to Momo. So... Kine is the second smartest kid in class, but Momo always seems to beat her in everything. Except for one one thing, cruelty. That's what that's what Kine excels in. And anything else is pure uh, out of you know, pure cruelty to to anyone. Ah, sorry guys, give me a second here. As Kine is walking down the school hall, as she trips a girl, watch where you're going, loser. As the girl's like, you need to watch where you're going. As she stops, what did you say to me? 
warm. And she walks towards the girl. As she sticks her hand out, as she pushes you right in the locker room, right in the lockers, in the hallway, going across the hallway, slamming into the locker using telekinesis. Girls, it seems like we got ourselves a hero. Let's give her a well welcome. Ladies, get her. As the two minions that Kine has, they rush the girl as they drag her by the hair. Restrain the bitch. As they force her on her knees, as Kine begins socking the girl in the face over and over again. Where was all that spirit you had earlier? Mrs. Hero. As she has her finger on the girl's chin. You have nothing to say now? Of course not, because you're a worm. You're powerless. You said, you said, um, toughen up, girl. The world's a cruel place. People who have power runs everything. If you don't have power, then you're nothing. You might as well be a corkless bitch. As she grabs her head, slams it into the locker. That's to her right. As she begins kicking her in, kicking her in the stomach. As she stops, as she's like, well, I think we're done here. As she stops, wait, I have a, I have an idea. You do have pretty hair. So let's fix that. As she creates a portal, as she takes out a pair of scissors, as she's like, let's give this little, this hair on a neat and a new haircut. As she begins, they pin her down, as they, she begins cutting her hair, as Mumble, by the time, by the time this has been going on, she came across as she rushes over there, grabs Kinde's hand. What the hell, sister? That's enough. <sighs> as, well, well, well. As she dropped a pair of scissors. Well, it isn't Miss Perfect. Momo Yairozu, my lovely sister. What can I do for you today? I know what you're doing here. You, you're bullying. I've been looking past it because you're my sister, but this is, you've gone way too far. Ooh. Then stop me, sister. See what you got. No? Then mind your business. Come on, girls. Let's go. See you around, Miss Perfect. As Momo helps her up, as they take her to the uh, nurse's office, as the intercom comes on, over s as you have Kine in class, as the principal on the intercom goes off, Miss Kine Yadarosi, please come to the principal office immediately. As Momo sees a smirk on her sister's face, as she shakes her head, as she walks out of the classroom, as she's like, you need a pass. Fuck the pass. As she walks out, as she goes into the principal office, as she kicks the door down, or she kicks the door, what is it, old man? Don't kick my door, miss. Sit down. Very well, old man. And please... Stop calling me old man. Whatever, old man. So what do you want? It came to my attention of your recent activities. This boy needs to stop. As, he's, as she's like, <laughs> oh, seriously? You're, you're talking this nonsense again? If the bitch wasn't weak, if the bitch wasn't in my way, then she wouldn't got hurt. Language, young miss, young lady. <sighs> So what, detention?
Yes, you know the routine. You're going to have detention for three months. Whatever. Miss Yairozu, you have so much potential. I hate to see you wasted over, over such activities. What would your parents think? She gets an angry, angry look in her face. My parents don't give a shit. As long as it doesn't interfere with their perfect daughter. You can leave. Gladly, old man. As she slams the door open. As the principal sigh. What am I going to do with this girl? I can't simply expel her. She gets the class as they go to detention with her little friends, her little posse. As the girls. Yeah, what is it? Can uh can I? I think we need to teach that little that little hussy. We need to teach that little girl a lesson. What do you mean? She's usually club she's usually in club right about now. And by the time we enter detention, she'll be leaving. Let's let's teach her a lesson. Excellent. Excellent, boss. Excellent. Sure, no problem. As the two girls smiles, as they smile very viciously, as all the other people at this engine are um, listening to this, as everyone in school is terrified of Kine. Even the, even the upper-class bullies, don't mess with her. It never ends well for anyone in, involved. As they, as they did their, their, their detention, as they walk into the kindle club, as their coach is not there, everyone left except for that girl that she bullied. As she sees Kinde or Kine, Walk in as the two girls lock the door. Well, 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 it seems like you got me in a little bit of trouble. I need to teach you a lesson. You should have took your licking and continue on, but now we're going to have to do things the hard way. Girls, you know what to do. As they walk over to her, as, <laughs> as they knee her in the stomach, as... Kine grabs a kindo stick. Huh. I've always wanted to try to get things out. As she whaps the girl's side ahead with the kindo stick. As it cut her a little bit. And she's like, why don't you just leave me alone? Nah, uh uh You need to take, you need to take responsibility for your massive disrespect. I don't take kindly to rats. As she begins beating her with the kindle stick in the ribs constantly over and over again. As the girl is crawling in the ground crying. She bends down, lifts her chin up with her finger. Because you piss me off, I'm going to make your life a living hell. From now on, you're going to get daily beatings. Because I just, it amuses me. See you around. Come on, girls. Let's go. As they walk off, as Kende start laughing, he's like, <laughs> loser. As, as she leaves school, as the car comes to pick her up, as Momo's already been, she's already been home, so... It's getting kind of late. As the limo rolls up, rise in, as she gets in the door, as, take me home. Yes, Mrs. Y yes. Yes, Lady y Yairozu. As she does, as she just looks out the window, 
as they're driving, as they get to the manor, as they go through the gate, as she walks in, as Mrs. Yair, her mother, like, where, where have you been? Like, you care. As she goes up to her room, slams the door. As she sees all the pictures in her room of her sister and her, as she picks it up, as she sees a picture of her and her sister smiling, as it gets a disgusting taste in her mouth, she throws it against the wall. Hate that bitch. If she wasn't around, they would, they would acknowledge me more. As, as she goes to bed, as we're going to stop it here. Yeah, a good, stop, good point to stop it here. Now, I'm taking this uh, hero route, but she's, um, her personality set, it's like, oh, yeah, she's twisted right now. So, hopefully you guys have a good night and day. Judging my time zones. All right, bye.